Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, B. And we're back with another video. It is currently 4.29 in the morning, and we're still posting. We're still making videos. Yo, keep this in mind. This is how hard we're working. You know what I'm saying? And don't ever forget that, you feel me, hard work pays off. Whatever you believe in, bro, just put in the work, bro, and I promise it's going to pay off, bro. Just continue to put in the work. Even when you don't see it, bro, even when nobody notices it, bro, just keep putting in the work, bro. For real, that's the one advice I'm going to give to y'all, okay? And I want to see all the acts succeed one day. I want to get to meet y'all one day. And, you know, if y'all want to meet me, I'm always chilling on live. I'm always in the server. Quite literally, y'all can speak to me as I'm live streaming, all right? I make sure that I'm, I'm just, like, reachable. You know what I'm saying? Let's get straight into the video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what's the strongest. You know, this this has been a hot topic. It's been a hot topic. This is something a lot of people have been asking me on live stream because they've seen me use all of these abilities. Now, and now they're asking me based off of my gameplay and like me leveling up these characters and just my experience, my raw experience with these characters. Which ones do I think do the most damage? Which one is the best? And I'm, I'm going to go from... Um, rating them from pvp to pve aspects and like everything that you need to know so before we even start this video pause it real quick make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe and join the family we're on the road to 8k subscribers let's make it happen we're trying to hit 100k at the end of this um year if a thousand of y'all could subscribe off of this one video right here it would be very much appreciated quite literally bro it would blow my mind but you know a man could dream right so let's let's start off. So as you can see here, we're going based off the strongest builds. We're not going based off of like, oh damn, bro, what if I'm just a no. If whenever I play a game, I I strive to be the strongest. I never strive to be nothing but the best. And I think that all of y'all should strive for the same. You should be not bro, there should be no reason why you're playing a game, bro, and you're not striving to be the strongest version that you could possibly be within that game. So we have fire nation combustion and we have lightning we got a visual um it's a visual effect so you can't see it um we got metal lava which is like literally the best build i mean you could also use sand i feel like sand with, with, with more damage but i want some mobility i want some mobility so that's why i have metal and then we got healing and blood so you can heal yourself and you can also like literally stop people from using their abilities so that's pretty broken then we got flight and projection. These two don't really do anything. So those these subclasses don't matter. You don't even really need to get them. But wind itself, trust me, it's sitting up there with damage. Like I'm talking about up there. It's in the top three. <laughs> Out of the five of them. And then we got non-bending. Non-bending, you get no ability. So automatically this for me on the on my list, it has to be at the lowest. You know what I'm saying? At the lowest, unless they do something to really put it up there with, you know, what some of these guys could do right now. Some of these, like, these builds that I have right here, even if I got this guy to max level, he's still getting baked. He's still getting baked by all these characters, respectfully, of course. All right. But if I had to rank them, it would be non-bending all the way at the bottom. Right? It would be in fifth place. And then in third place, I said third place, fourth place, we'd have water. And now in third place. And third place. Now, this is for PvE. This is for PvE. For PvE. Alright, keep this in mind. PvE. And third place, we got fire. And then in um, second place, we have wind. And then in first place, we have earth. For PvE. For PvE. Or y'all are y'all listening to me before I be if I start going crazy in the comments, bro. Relax. Relax. I said PvE, alright? Now PvP. Still at the bottom. Respectfully, of course. Like, bro. And then this. Huh, it's at the bottom still, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's 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 still gonna be it's still gonna be a fourth place. Only because, bro. Yeah, you can stop people's ability, bro. But once they're out of your range, out of your reach, like, it's really easy. I'm not going to lie, bro. Especially if you're using fire or like, you have lightning, it's easy to snipe these guys with blood. Like, I've literally sat there and spammed dual lightning because it has a low cooldown. 
Um, Blood Tide also has a low cooldown, but they literally have to reach you to like literally blood bend you to death. They could they could spam it. Once they catch you though, it's wraps. It's gonna literally be the okay, let me catch I have to catch you if I can catch you. But if you're good with what you're doing, you can evasive out of that. And you can just, you know, keep running and you just keep lightning, spamming them. And then they'll they'll literally lose. That's the only reason. And then all water moves are like pretty uh they are right, they don't really do damage. Um in this list, like out of all the elements, water does the least amount of damage. Just want you to know that. Um and now for third place for PvP would have to go to Earth, I'm not gonna lie. Now listen, the reason why it's Earth, I know bro's lava, bro's lava. People could literally hop out of your lava, bro. Unless you get them in a corner, bro. They could literally, bro, they could evasive out of your lava, so it doesn't even matter. Like that's why I said for PvE. So it sits in third place when it comes to that. And now we have wind and fire. Now where do these sit? This sit you know roughly around the same bro they're not too different from each other but fires are gonna have to go second place and wind sitting at first only because if you get caught up in that wind spin uh that wind spin thing bro what is it wheel um wind wheel bro it's broken it's broken bro it's broken not gonna cap not gonna cap so now y'all probably wondering okay so now we know what's the best pve and the best pvp what is the best overall for damage and pvp now this will still be at the bottom for me right cool water will still be at the bottom for me and damage wise fire is gonna is gonna have to be in first place for i'm talking about for pve and pvp lightning is sitting up there and wind in second place it's honestly good for both also, but I'm talking about range. Like I'm talking about range and like just being flexible with it. Fire really holds that ground, especially with the burn damage to stack on top of that, especially if you have blue flames, it literally doubles. You're good with range. You have all your abilities that literally sits there and burn the person to death. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wind has a crazy amount of knockback. Cool, whatever. But like, you feel me? If they hit you with lightning, they hit you with combustion, you're good, you're bound to die. Lightning does a lot of damage. A lot of damage, bro. And then wind wheel, bro, they have to hit you with that. Like a firebender could literally just use fire circle and like literally knock you out of it. So it's gonna be hard to land. So that's why I'm putting it at second place from fire. And then earth would be third. Third place. Now, a lot of people are like, yo, bro, why is water rank so low? Because my experience with water was just so bad. So bad so bad like water is dog water bro not even pun intended bro but like it's dog water bro like the name suits it bro dog water no, don't even don't even use it dude now nah, you know what y'all can use it if y'all want to if y'all a water fan bro go ahead and use it but i'm telling you this now if you do not have blood you're wasting your time buddy you're literally gonna get molly wop by all of these elements you might even get molly wop by non deadly respectfully you know what I'm saying? But, hey, let me know what y'all think in the comments if y'all agree with me or, or if y'all disagree. I've literally leveled up all these accounts. I've experienced all these accounts, and I'm going to tell you now. Now, if you want freedom to roam and everything, you can literally just choose um, wind. All right? You can you can literally just choose wind. It's like, the, like when it comes to, like, traveling, just feeling free, feeling like you can get to point A to point B within, like, five minutes, and it doesn't take you, like, 30 minutes to get across the sea. One would be great. You can use the bison and everything, you know, get to where you need to be. Without further ado, I'll be catching you on the next video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And like I like to say, bro, brush your head, take care, and I'll catch you in the next video. Eek is out.